Well, it's day 37, June 18th, and I have made good use of the accessible washroom at the Glen Gorton uh, Forest Park. Just a beautiful facility. I've topped up on water. I've washed everything, including the shirt. Just took about 20 minutes to dry it under the hand dryer. Washed me. Uh, drank more water. It turns out I'm actually ahead of schedule. So what I'm going to do is not take an extra day, but I'm going to take some extra time and some nice stops like this one and like the place that I had lunch yesterday. Because prior to this I've been rushing through, rushing through. So I'm going to take some time and then meet Gord when he arrives on Friday. Now this is Siobhan bringing me a pot of tea and milk and I have a pot of tea and milk. <laughs> I'm being overserved. Oh, Siobhan, I, I always help with holiday. That's right. Thank mm. you so much for taking care of me this morning, Siobhan. Oh, no problem, thank you. And all your advice. Well, no. Thank you. What, what's the best part of living in this Gorton Forest area? Gorton Glen? I don't know. The midgets. The <laughs> midgets. <laughs> and I'm off. I didn't get very far after coming out of the washroom because <laughs> the cafe opened and I thought, oh, I'd love a real cup of tea before I leave. Well, that turned into having a homemade scone. And then Siobhan, lovely Siobhan, gave me a treat to take for the road. And then they wanted to take pictures. I felt like a celebrity. That was really nice experience. So I'm heading towards Gorton now and uh, not sure about... Um, where I'll go from there. So about 25k. Here we go. Here's another one. I just wish I could have shown you them all. How many people have these little gadgets? Hilarious. Poor little lamb. He's lost his way. Ba, ba, ba. I hope you find your way back in, little lamb. Gorton Village. So I'm going to uh, resupply here. My pack's probably about to get five or six pounds heavier because I need food for about the next four days, three to four days. Well, I'm all topped up, inside and out. <laughs> I've learned in these little villages that it's really tough to find camp food. So what I'm doing is just resupplying for a couple of days at a time and getting sandwiches, cookies, chips, <laughs> those kinds of things. They don't keep very well, but for two days it's fine. My pack's quite heavy, but the route is supposed to be fairly level without any big ascents for the uh, rest of the day. So I'm counting on that. <laughs> huh. Yeah, no steep ascents in the next 20K, but one sneaky little long gradual one coming out of Gorton. I think it's been about 2k so far and uh, oh with the heavier pack <laughs> but I had a banana so that gave me energy. I always grab a banana if I see them because of the potassium which is great for battling leg cramps and leg cramps can be a real hazard after a long day of hiking. If you're at all dehydrated, you might get them. And there's the little village of Gorton, where I just left about an hour ago. And I've been going, like I said, just gradually, sneakily up, 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 up. And uh, should be leveling off soon. So for the rest of the day, this road 
meanders along the hillside of the Sparren Mountains. And uh, I won't be climbing so much as I will be framed, flanked by the hills of the Sparren Mountains. I love the wide open, expansive view. I feel like I can breathe. You know, it's not a mystery what lays beyond. Flies are biting me. Oh, I'm doing my best to really boot it through this area because the horse flies are brutal. I'm just thinking they can't be the same ones that have been following me, buzzing me, vigorously taking bites at me for the last two hours. Can, can they fly solid for two hours? No, they land on me, take a chomp, and then keep uh, flying after that. But wow, they're bad! Now this reminds me of the Pacific Crest Trail, which I hiked in 2019. See how the road is going to rise on the crest of this hill, and then over and down, and then rise over the next for miles to come. That's so similar to the view along the Pacific Crest Trail, where you could see the trail for miles and miles. The PCT is single track. It's like a, a one person wide trail for over 4,000 kilometers from Mexico to Canada and the States. Well, I'll say it's scenic. I'm excited. Ten more kilometers of this on the side of this hill. No, it's okay, keep going. Keep going. I'm trying not to scare them. There we go. <laughs> Because usually they run in the opposite direction Hi. to me. <laughs> Have a good night. Well, it's a little early, but I've stopped because, well, you see that sucker? <laughs> that was, that, that was uh, on my back the whole way up this road. And I had a few more kilometers to do, and I saw a farmer... And I just thought, no, nope, there's an opportunity. He's the only one you've seen in hours. Ask. So he was right in his barn up there. Very nice man named McCullough. Yep. Farmer Al McCullough. Could be a distant relative. Oh, my mom's last name, McCullough. Amazing. They are with me. For sure. And it's okay. Um... I think I have actually turned a corner in terms of the pilgrimage. But today, it's really important that I got this site because there was a very bad forecast given this morning for this area. Thunderstorms, in fact, Siobhan at uh, the Gorton's Glen uh, was uh, trying to encourage me to stay put because the forecast was so bad. And I said, well, I, I got to keep moving. Um, so here I am. Look at the view. The neighbors are a little noisy. Hopefully they settle down for the night. Yeah, I'm talking to you guys. Keep it down. Oh, and those in the subdivision out back too. Well, first he said, yeah, sure, you can go in be in amongst the trees there for shelter. Uh, I don't go. I call those widow makers when a storm is coming. But uh, he said, I also own across the road. So if you find a patch there, you're welcome there too. So here I am. Welcome in the cow field. How do I know it's a cow field without cows? 
I'm surrounded by landmines. So I better get set up, dive in, and I might even put the guy ropes on tonight to anchor down just in case the storm does come. I'm just lying, watching the flies go round and round. I would love to watch them fly. As long as they're not inside my tent. I don't care where they stay the night. Bom, 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 bom. Ah, yes. Happy feet. All done for the day. <laughs> Ah, tent time is good time.